Let's just go straight into it, I think. Okay, then. What episode number is this, by the way? Uh, 12. 12? Is this the 12th one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why did I think this was going to be the 14th? <laughs> <laughs> We've skipped, 30, <laughs> we've skipped 12 and 13 because we're superstitious. Yeah, exactly. Because oh, you don't. Oh, really? It's worse than 13. 12 for us. Yeah. You don't want to know. Why? You don't want to know, do. No, you really oh, don't. I do want to know. No, seriously, I'd drop it, Em. Seriously. Yeah, like. <laughs> drop it. It's not People even. No, really. Less. Don't. It's just not worth it. <laughs> nobody, needs to, nobody needs to suffer like we no. have. Jesus. It'll put us on the back foot. It'll put us on the back foot for the rest of the pod if we start talking about the number twelve. Oh, yeah. See, I'm panicking already. Oh God! Just stop saying it. Just stop saying it. Sorry. There so you wait, go. That's our bit to put before the credits. <laughs> Hello, people of the internet universe, and welcome to this week's episode, episode 13 on Lucky Amber. I am your bodacious host, Dan, as always, joined on this history-themed episode by the Zeus of Masturbation, the author of Sun Tzu Parody, The Art of Wanking, an all-around jerk-off wizard, the terrible testicle, Paul Austin. What are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry, oh, it's very different, it. but I'll take it. <laughs> and, uh, and joined again after her hiatus from last week, a lady that would turn any of us into Lou Boo the moment we were without her, <laughs> Emily Poulter. Who's Lou Boo? Uh, it's part of my history thing. Because I'm oh, going to do hi. the Three Kingdoms of Ancient China, which there has. There you go, a little teaser. The, uh, uh-huh. yeah. Brilliant. Best so intro. I, so yet. we don't know. Don't know if that's a compliment or an insult yet until we we'll learn find some out. history. That's a reason to stay tuned, Ooh. listeners. Yep, because they need one. Uh, should we yeah, just want to launch into your history based questions, Dan? Yeah, yeah, I could go straight into, like I said, today we've decided to do a, uh, a history themed episode. Yeah, it's been on for the, it's the been sake on, of, why not? It's been on the books for a while. Me and Dan have been, I think back in like episode three, we came up with the idea of doing a history one. Or something, but we've just and then we kept forgetting yeah, to do it. Basically, we're dumb. But that's all ancient history now. <laughs> ah, ba-da, 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 no. <laughs> so I'm just going to move on from that. <laughs> what is the greatest military force in history? Comparatively, so obviously, so okay. modern soldiers would beat Roman legionnaires because bullets and such. But comparing <laughs> skill and abilities of the time. What is the greatest military force? Greatest military force. Oh, that's a good question. Now, Em, you've obviously got a degree in history. Um, yep. Don't let that fool you. <laughs> I've got a degree <laughs> in, in filmmaking, so obviously I'm equally as um, qualified to talk about it. And <laughs> Dan. I have a degree of sticking my thumb up my ass. <laughs> mm. School of Life is what they call it. What did you yep. What did you get for that, Dan? Did you get a first? Um, got a, no, I got I, a I painful failed. ring. I, I wasn't willing to do it. It was too oh. painful, and I backed out after mm. the first first lesson. Damn. No, I, I've been through the School of Life. I got a uh, degree from the School of Hard Knocks, a gold star from the kindergarten of getting the shit kicked out of me, and the rest <laughs> of that black adder quote. Yep. <laughs> Anal thumb dropout. Anal thumb dropout. <laughs> Oh, fuck you! You don't know me! <laughs> <laughs> now, can we please add yeah, to the sorry, question yeah, and not sorry. talk um, about okay. thumbs up my arsehole anymore? I've got, I've got an answer. Go for it, yeah. Yes. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the cliché uh, of... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking forgotten what it's called. Oh, no, Paul, no. no. Oh, my God. No, I haven't thought of mine yet. What they're called. Well, I don't want to get it wrong. This is, what, this is what having a degree gets you, listeners. Fuck all. Um, this Sorry. right here. This is why I didn't Doesn't go to help university. My well, I, well, I was thinking. I was imagining like what it, there's obviously we know of the military forces that have existed, but what of what about potential military forces that could have exist existed had history taken a different turn? So like, imagine if all why the why do you have to make this? Imagine if all the squirrels had united to sort of already a complicated to fight, question to fight us all. We'd have been de- just ruined. We'd have been destroyed by squirrels. So that is a kind of fictional, but potential military force. 
But truthfully... Why have you had to complicate an already complicated But to be honest, question? I'd probably Why say all the Huns in that. I just, I just Googled... I just Googled and there isn't a name. That's why I can't remember Oh, there you it, go. That they have a name. Well, what I was trying to say was the the English fleet that defeated the Spanish Armada. But in my head, all I could think was Spanish Armada. I was like, that's definitely not the one. The, the, but the when I Googled answer. it... When I googled it, one of the questions that came up was, "Did God really help the English defeat the Spanish Armada?" Probably did, yeah. Jesus Christ! Did he? Yeah, because everybody knows God is British. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why was he helping? Why would he be helping the English, not the Spanish? Because they probably did. Because... Like, Spanish, Spanish Inquisition. They did much more for Jesus. I mean, probably. as we've learned well, in this podcast, maybe he... God is proper petty, and he's well, he's well up <laughs> yeah, for just what, annoying people. Maybe it's because the Spanish Inquisition stopped doing things and God got upset by that and was like, right, I'm going to fucking teach them this Maybe that was one of the Monty Python sketches that God wasn't that favourable towards. So he was like, oh, well, I'm not going <laughs> to let, I'm going to help them win the I'm war. I'm going to punish them in yeah. advance. We can, like, see all of time, oh, can't we? Do you not... Well, the Huns and that, they're pretty, they're pretty strong, aren't they? Yeah. Ninjas? Oh, and... And there's the, you know, the... the ninjas the, aren't actually the way they're portrayed in the media. Ninjas were just regular dudes that used to deliver messages. Oh. Oh. It's, it's really disappointing when you find out that information. I quite like They're just that. regular dudes with no... All right, then. Cool well, I'm going to stick with the Huns. They just climb walls, deliver a message and leave. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's nice, though. That's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. But sort of just not a military postman. force. Yeah. I'll either say Huns or Squirrels. But obviously there is so which, okay. the squirrels one. Didn't which one happen. of us won, Dan? It's not a competition. Oh. It's never been a competition. So could, no, but you could do the you know the internet thing where you said that it makes. We're not fight. doing that anymore. We're not doing Google. We fight. did that this one episode. We're Google not doing fight. it every week. No way. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it on my own time. Okay. If I can figure okay, out. Okay, write to find it down. It. Just, Google, just Google, search Google, Google fight. fight. I will have to write that down. Oh my that fucking god. <laughs> My memory, is, my memory is piss poor. It's not a memory thing, because you'll listen to this podcast where we'll say it, so you oh, can yeah. just write it then. Yeah. But I still yeah, think... So I won't do it for, like, two weeks. But I still think... And I'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be like... Yeah, sorry, it'll be like three weeks. Anyway. Meh. <laughs> Question two. You can go back in time to any period in history. Your body acclimates to the time period, so you fit in, you don't instantly die from new diseases, all of that sort of thing. Which one do you choose? These are some solid fucking questions. Yeah. So by that I mean, like, if you were to go back to, like, 300 AD, like, people are technically a bit shorter yeah. and would look different to the way we do, so you'd stand out as some, you know, Herculean monster, whereas... Can I stick with that? ...for this question, you instantly... No, oh. you, you look like everybody okay. else, you fit in, you don't get... You don't have, like, a different immune system. It's as if you've already... You've always been there, but you have the memories and so on. Mm. Yeah. The, That's a hard one. The problem is, everywhere in the past is a bit shit. Yeah. yeah. It's all fun. It's fun to visit and everything, but to live there would be a bit of a hassle. Because, you know, low mm. mortality rates, massive poverty, loads of illness. So maybe I'd go back and live in... Oh, dear. I'll tell you what, I'll go back. This is going to sound cliche, especially considering what I'm going to say, what I'm going to talk about later. But I'll go back and live in ancient Greek times. Because I think everything was nice and sunny, in it? All sort of grapes and that, nice food and wine. Uh, And Mm -hmm. also, like, everyone's all kind of loosey-goosey when it comes to sexuality. (laughs) Yeah. And you keep <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting you for keep this. saying that we're the ones that are pushing this idea. What I'm people. saying is, I won't be like, if I decide I'd like, I don't know, I might fancy sleeping with a fella, I won't get executed. Greece, That's all I'm fucked. saying. Um, I think... Um, I think I'd want to go back either, like, post-World War One or post-World War Two, where everyone's having a fantastic time and having a pie because they think, don't think anyone's going to die anymore. Or maybe, like... 20s but in america like prohibition having secret secret sexy parties with alcohol yeah don't invest though don't because no that's a bad idea Mm -hmm. yes yeah i just i just go there and have a great time 
Yeah, fair enough. So, you are able to gift something from our time to a leader of the past. What do you gift them and why? Ooh. So, for whatever it is, it works as it does now, because it's, you know, magical science. So, if you send back a smartphone, it works as it does now. Uh, even though there's no internet and everything else, it would work as if it does. But without a charger, they only get that one time with it. Oh. So what well, my immediate thought was I'd give them something on which they could, like, send me texts or emails, and then I'd have, like... They could write me, like, a little instant diary of their day. I've got a little... I mean, really judging cute. from previous episodes of this show, I've got a little inclination as to who Emily is going to... Is going to want to receive, to, yeah. like, mail from. Just tell me about your tell me about your day. <laughs> it'd be really nice. What? Because Would you'd it? send it back and then you'd instantly have all these yeah, messages who, because you've sent it back. Who are you picking though, Em? That's the important I part. I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about it. Maybe like um Oh god, what's his name? The one who was a right dick, but it wasn't Nero. <laughs> Julius Caesar? No. Uh Jimmy but maybe one of them. Jimmy. Maybe he was a misunderstood, like, misunderstood. I mean, all of person. that seemed to be leading towards M's favourite punchline yeah. and choice. So favourite person. In history. Like, no, you mm. don't worry. Don't worry. One of my facts, oh, one of the facts I've no. gathered, uh, relates to our favourite person. Yeah. Not our favourite person. <laughs> not our favourite person, M. Who <laughs> lambasts right. does him? He's also. It's not mine. I just, I just think it would be interesting if he was used more in popular culture as a like comedy figure. Yeah, maybe not to the I mean, Jewish I, I community. I feel he's used enough considering <laughs> what he's doing. Yeah, I think they might take umbrage with that. Um, who well, would I send it to? I might send um, uh, Facebook, like Twitter, to um, Karl Marx, so uh, he can see how how much people love him now, and all the fun, all the fun memes <laughs> about him. <laughs> that might tickle him. Oh, do you know what you could do? You could send, like, some kind of... This is going to show my naivety. Some kind of, like, gay porn hub to a ruler that was really, like, anti-gay and just blow their mind. What, that, would that blow their mind or would that just make them more filled with hate? I, I'm at, Honestly, I'm mostly impressed that it's M that's come up with a porn answer. <laughs> And like some form of sexual thing, and not Paul. I'm quite impressed that Paul's was very was relatively pedestrian. Mine was quite by wholesome. So, mm. so M had like a really cute one. At first. He wanted to chat with yeah, a dictator. Exactly. He had a nice cute one to have like a a nice chat about you know life, the universe, and everything with a terrified dictator who murders everyone. And now <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, let's just send gay porn to homophobes. Yeah, but in a kind of like. Fuck you, man. This is fine. Look, we're in the future and we're still doing it. It's yeah, still we've fine. solved all the world's then. ills now. now. There's no hate yeah. anymore. That's not going to make you double down on your resolve at all, is it? That's not going to make you go, oh, they do it more in the future. Right, I thought I was. Be- I must have been too lenient. Kill double the gays this week. <laughs> this, is, yeah, this is how no, you end up creating do. paradoxes. I mean, this was my secondary, you know... Plan. I won't do it. Oh, 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 I oh good. Do oh, good. One. I hope. I don't think you I'll should. Sit with the first I don't one. think you should do it. Yeah, it was just an idea to just kill homophobia. It's I don't rude, think it'd work. Okay. Okay. I'll have a think. I'll, ca- I'll carry if on. You sent like a gun that was rigged to just fire when it was pointed at someone's face and to all the homophobes. <laughs> that might work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but how many people pick up a gun and the first thing they do is, oh, let's look down the There's barrel. a little note on it. Oh, There's a little everyone. post-it note on the front and they've got to look, to, they've got to turn it around and obviously it fires through the post-it note. They could note. just take the post-it note <laughs> off. Like, if they become a dictator, they can't be that dumb. This isn't fucking Looney Tunes. I mean, they don't I mean there's two oh, very dumb dictators the... kind of in power at the moment. I mean, one of them, more so. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, you know, I'm talking about in the past. To, to get to True. that point... You can't be dumb enough. They didn't to have look TV shows to raise people's profiles gun. back then. Mm, yeah, true. True. Politics. Well, yes. Woo! Moving on. I only have the three. <laughs> okay. Well, shall we? we do our little? I'll do my history one first, shall I? Go so for I it. So I haven't prepared anything for this. 
I'm not I sure. thought what I'd do is I'd tell the story, the sort of a bridge story of the Greek gods <coughs> and a few of the heroes uh, just off the top of my head. So I'll put ah. some like Greek music and like Zorba the Greek or something. <laughs> Um, right, so there's these big fellas, right, who live on the planet, and they're called Titans, and they're all massive. And they, like, have this massive... They have a big war, right, between them, and they start shagging each other, and at the end of all of this, they create these guys called uh, gods, right, and they live on this big mountain called Mount Olympus, which is a big mountain because it's all, like, up in the clouds. But it's not, like, on the clouds, it's, like, just sort of in the clouds. Uh just really big king of the king of the gods is Zeus and he's like a bit of a shitter so he like sleeps with all human people and creates loads of children um his wife is called Hera and she's like a bit long suffering but she's also kind of a bitch I don't like to use that word but it is what she is um and she's he's also got a brother called Poseidon who's like who sort of splashes about and then he's also got another brother called um it's called like sort of Satan <laughs> Have you forgotten his name? <laughs> I've just gone... Hades. Hades. Yeah, Hades. He's played by the racist guy. Uh, which played one? by? You're talking about Greek He's mythology. played by a guy who's like race. James Woods, that's who he's played by. Um, and um, they like sort of live and they just do shit, basically. They just sort of eat and drink. I get the feeling he's just doing an abuse version of... And they fart, and they fart like around, basically. Greek oh, yeah, mythology. I forgot. All the Titans got put underground. <laughs> All the Titans are like underground, right? And they're all living under there. Uh, and one day, right, this little lad is born called Hercules because, like, Zeus sort of, like, raped a woman. And there's a load of rape. There's a load oh. of ra- What's your question, Em? I don't have a question. I just wanted to add. You know you said Zeus was a bit of a dick. Mm. He used to turn into different animals in order to seduce yeah, the know. women. And he'd, like, chase chase them around as, like, a hawk or something, which I think is quite shady. Well, yeah, a lot of what they, did, the was fact that what they did was pretty as shady. As an idea, he would turn into animals to seduce them, which proves that furryism yeah, has been it's going natural, on for isn't thousands it? of years. <laughs> and that life is uh. an eternal, eternally miserable thing. <laughs> So, anywho... Because people have been wanting to fuck animals for thousands. This little kid gets born called Hercules. Don't fuck kitties! <laughs> this little kid is born called Sorry, Hercules, right? Uh, and he ends up... And, and Hades is all like, oh, fuck this kid, I hate this kid. Uh, I'm going to fuck this kid up. So he sends his little minions, uh, called Flotsam and Jetsam, to, um, to, to kill the kid. <laughs> to kill the kid, right? But they fuck it up because they're, like, hopeless. Uh, but they sort of take away his powers or something. So they, so Zeus like decides, oh no, fuck this, I'm gonna hide him. So he like throws Hercules down to Earth, to Midgard, um, and <laughs> and Hercules lives like I an... actually looked up a bunch of history and, uh... stuff. I've learned all of these Hercules, things that I was right? gonna do today. And Paul's he lives like a normal no. dude, right? Like Superman. I think that's where they got the idea from, um, and. Hercules is like, so he's like a bloke, and at some point, right, he meets Danny DeVito, uh, and Zeus says, "Listen, uh, Herc, you're a god. <laughs> Herc, you're like a god, right? Uh, so, but you've got to do some tasks if you want to like be a proper god, right? And he's and Hercules is like, oh, all right then, I'll do that then. So, like in a sort of Rocky style training montage, Danny DeVito trains him up, uh, and he becomes uh, Hercules. Feats fights a lion, defeats a hydra like what we did um, mm-hmm. he like cleans a load of shit Nobody gets cleans like happens. a load of shit uh, and then he's done it, he's all the hero but, right, he falls in love with this girl called Megara who's like all sk- they killed a hydra indeed who's all, she's like a woman the only, the only person who'd get the reference is Eleanor and she's already told me she doesn't listen to the podcast <laughs> <laughs> Our marriage is entirely an old now. I know. She's I know. done. I'm sorry. I've been really trying you guys not want to hear about the story of Hercules get... in the ancient No, I do. Carry on, carry on. Sorry, carry on. I'm fucking done with it. Finish your tale. And then, so, uh, basically, Meg gets killed by, like, by Hades, thrown like a big tree on her. Um, so Hercules is like, shitting hell! So he goes down, fights Hades, uh, goes back up to the surface. Now, he rescues Meg from, like, the hell world um and oh shit though the titans are back 
Oh, fuck. What are we going to do? Oh, no. So basically, Hercules gets them in a big bag and he throws them. And that's the story of ancient mm. Greece. I put in so much thought and effort into trying to learn the history and try and, like, bridge it down so it wasn't super that's long. That's what I've done. Of an ancient era, and you've just shat all over fucking Disney That's what I did. No, I know I've bridged it. Yeah, that is what you did. You I've just shit that. all over Disney Hercules. I've not seen Disney Hercules. I've never seen it. Have you not? No, I haven't. Wow, you're no. missing out. Wow. It's your homework for next was, time. I, I, I don't want to watch that sort of thing because I think it slightly sort of spoils the real history of it. I think they take a few, they take like liberties with it and I don't like it when they do that. Do you want to know another another ancient Greek god fact that I, I think know? I know all there is to know Definitely. about ancient Greece, but sure. Yeah. yeah, I know. You do, but you didn't mention this one. This is going to be a half fact because I can't remember which god it is, but... Uh, someone cuts his wang off and it flies across the world and lands and like semen flies out and like creatures grow from it. Yeah. Where it lands. Same as there is uh, one of the Greek gods has his um, testicles cut open and another god is born Mm -hmm. from the uh, resulting juices. Yes, yeah. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. I think those are both tight. my turn then? Go for it, go for it. I need to, you know, recover from the brain aneurysm Paul's going to give me, so it's your turn. Okay, well, I've got... So I've got a couple of history things that I just think are interesting that I will just okay. tell you. And then I've got three questions, which I'm going to ask you, and then I'm going to add your, your tallies onto my Dan V. Paul mastermind. Right. Right, okay. So I guess the I get very the small feeling I'm not going to get enough is, time for mine. So this yeah. Well, it's history. Three, okay. Yeah. Okay. So question number... you want to buzz in? Or Are we, we doing the questions first? Easy? I thought you, you were giving the facts it. first. Oh, what You just you swapped over which you were doing first. Did yeah. I? Yeah, you said you were going to do the facts, then the questions, yeah. and now you're going to open with the questions. You're confusing our fragile little minds. I'll do whatever you do want. The, okay, do the do facts the, first. The... I really wish that was true, Em. We both know I really wish that was true. <laughs> Um, I don't even know what I just said to you. Do the facts first. Okay. Okay. So, uh, right. Emily's History Corner. (laughs) Everybody gather round. Emily's History (laughs) Corner. Interesting facts abound. That's the theme song. I still wish you see was dead. Okay, I liked that. I liked that. (laughs) Uh, I love that she gets a fucking theme. I haven't had one on any of the things I've asked for. Sorry, I'm Yeah, but Dan, I don't ask for them. Maybe that's why Paul does it. Maybe it's because he knows it will upset me. I'm like a little pixie. Little annoying pixie. His prime derivative in life is to ruin my life. (laughs) That is his true fucking mission in existence, is to ruin me. neither confirm nor Anyway, Em, carry on. Thanks. Okay, so my my first interesting interesting thing is if the Titanic had had more lifeboats on board, more people would have died. How did you, you know? That? How? Why? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to read this word for word because I'll badly paraphrase it. Otherwise, uh, there's lots of unique factors that go into this, but the simple version is that there wasn't enough time. The Titanic's crew acted incredibly quickly as soon as it was known that the ship had no chance of surviving. Preparing these massive, heavy lifeboats for launch and lowering them takes a lot of time and effort. And despite their efforts, two lifeboats were just floated off deck. They didn't have enough time. If there had been more, it would have been harder for them to like unstack them. Uh, and it would have been way more chaotic if there had been more. Mm. So people say that there wasn't enough and you couldn't fit everyone on, but that wouldn't have made a difference. Right. Everyone dies, regardless. Yay! Emma. The Happy Fun Time Podcast! Emily's History Corner. <laughs> Everything's fucking bleak. <laughs> Everybody is one. going to die. Dying. <laughs> I've got it's a another episode next Christ. week. Okay. Uh, in the year 892, Sigurd the Mighty of Orkney was feeling pretty proud of himself after killing uh, uh, one of his enemies. He was so proud that he cut his head off and strapped it to his horse's saddle. Um, unfortunately, the way that he sat meant that uh, his enemy's teeth rubbed against his leg, created an open wound, and that became infected, and he mm. died as a result. 
So that's why you don't strap your enemy's heads to your yeah. horse's saddle. Um, your yeah. your preparation for this podcast was it was it googling interesting history facts? No, those are things that I already knew about, so I just found like a All right. summary of See. it, so I could say. Okay. No, it was good though. It was good. Emily's history Thanks. corner: death. Thanks. It's those about death. That's that all it's about. Knew, like. Okay. Well, my <laughs> that my is history. To be are... fair. To be fair, That's history true. is pretty much just <laughs> death in various ways. It's the ways. only guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's all Latin death. taxes, true. apparently. Okay, Unless you're rich so, and then you can avoid them. But let's not politic it again. <laughs> M, go. Questions, okay. questions, questions I've before only... it goes politics. Right, mastermind. All right. Fast uh, I've only got three. Do you want to buzz in or should we just see if one of you can actually get the answer? We'll right? buzz in. Sure. You're going to buzz in? Yeah, okay. yeah. Question number one. In 1932, Australia lost a war and who was it against? Matt! Honk! Who was for? That was Paul. Emus. Uh, Fuck you. The Huns, squirrels. It's one of those. I mean, Dan just got the answer right, so I kind of want to give it to him. Oh, did he? I... Because I yeah. hugged it quicker! Oh. Yeah. Some shit. I didn't hear. What was the answer? I watched Paul's mouth move. Emus. Emus. The great ostrich. Gonna, what was it? Because I would have squirrels. I would have let him steal it so he can have it. I think if we buzz. We well if done. we buzz. What happened there? Mm-hmm. I was confused about when Dan answered the question. I don't know I why I buzzed he said the before you, and then I went straight in with the answer because I thought I'd buzzed in first. And then apparently you two live in some bizarre parallel universe where the I did. The podcast will and prove who buzzed first. It will. It will. But I'm giving you the point well, anyway. Well, on my end, Dan. it was me. Thank you. I'm giving you the point anyway. Okay. Question number two Which British monarch made being a witch illegal with the Witchcraft Act? Buzz. Oh. Charles II? Nope. Someone who hated women more. It was a Charles. It was a Charles. It was Henry VIII. Oh, him. I'm VIII. so good no, at this! Was, yes. No, it wasn't. It was Charles. It was a Charles. This is Dan's. This is Dan's. Well, Dan's just won it, hasn't he? He's got two. Oh, and there's only three questions. No, but I still want it. No, but you want the last one. You're going to like this one. I better like this one. Okay. Question. You happy, might know listen, this so one. I'm not happy. Question. Question. I don't care. Question Dan, won, Dan cheated by knowing what? more. It's not fair. <laughs> question number three. I hate you so much. I hate him so bad. <laughs> yes, question number three before I kill him through the screen. What was Hitler's favourite film? Son of a bitch! <laughs> the Great Dictator. Paul? He no. likes that one. I thought you might know it. I probably do, but I don't know. You I'm not all that into Hitler. I know that you follow his. I know yeah, you I'm follow his fucking MySpace or whatever. Was it a Charlie Chaplin film? Just for the real. No, Hollywood? no, no. It was Snow White and the oh, Seven Dwarfs. Well, you know, anti Semites stick Disney. together, don't they? Yeah. He did. I'm sure he did yeah. like Charlie Chaplin, though. That's why I said the Great Dictator. He might have done. Okay, Dan's got two points, so Dan is still in the lead of the total mastermind. Um, I've got another question, which is not history. Well, it's sort of history. Is this a but bonus it's just mastermind? Like a general question. No, because it's a, it's more of like well, your can opinion. we just have, can we add it to the total anyway? No. I mean, there's not there's not a right no. answer, but sure, unless you tell me there's a okay. right answer. I don't know. I'll ask you. You you let me know. Uh, so, what do you think happens when Medusa's snake hair has to poop? It doesn't. But what if it did? It doesn't don't eat button. either. It's inside her head, so the butt end would either shit into the into her brain slash into her skull, or because it doesn't have a butt end, it doesn't poop. Also, it doesn't yeah. eat. But there's no. So it's you know never it eaten anything. Eat? Because at no point in any do you historical know story do I tell She's not you real. Her? Yes. Yes, yeah, she is. At no point in any of the stories does it talk about her snake hair eating, and so without well, yeah, eating, there is no like, way it could poop. Most most stories don't mention when people like go for a wee, but that happens. I mean, you don't have to assume it does. When, 
but okay, you, fine. No one's getting any uh, no points. Point. No points for anyone well, on that sorry. one. Sorry, what did no you? Okay, points. she so gobs it out of her mouth. What's points available anyway? The big logs of shit come out yeah, of her mouth. They shit out of them, out of them, out all over her head. So she's just walking around covered in snake yeah. poo. Is that and what you And she crimps it off with her teeth. Yeah, that's I'm, why they're brown. Yeah, I'm gonna give a point to Paul for that. I liked it. <laughs> what the fucking one that said it? What the fuck? This is no, no, no you know what? I'm done. I ain't giving any. No, he didn't. He didn't say shit. Yeah, I'm not even going to give any of my history stuff. I'm, give your I'm, history I'm, stuff. I don't well, need to be in this podcast anymore. You've no, still got no, more no. points than Paul. Yeah, I mean, I need it. Okay. <laughs> fucking hell. Dan's still winning. Yeah, he's still winning by quite a chunk, chunk of points. It's my accurate measurement of points. Should we? Let's Where's do some proper on? history. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Dad, come back. No, I'm sorry. Don't sulk. I, I ain't th- having this. I, I thought you were looking. This. I thought you were I ain't having at this totalitarian horseshit. No. No, I've left. I ain't having <laughs> this shit. Have you? Yeah, I'm fucking done. I can, I can still hear you. Because you're imagining. Oh my god. It's in our brains. Fuck. <laughs> I always knew that was how this friendship worked. I'm. Yep. Dan's just in my skull. I'm in my brain as well. If only. If only I was in your <laughs> skull. Anyway, let's not make that a sex thing. Oops, Don't make it already weird. did! <sighs> let's have. So who wants to do the history? Me! Time? Dan's History hey, Corner. History. He talks about actual history. <laughs> see, I should feel good because you've finally given me a jingle, but seeing as you just reused the one forever, okay. it doesn't actually right, okay. make me feel that good. Dan's History Corner! He's going to talk about China! <laughs> yeah, fair. I'll take it. So... Um, there is a period in ancient Chinese history known as the Three Kingdoms, which has been adapted into a thousand and one games, cool. either the Dynasty Warriors series or um, Kesson and a few other ones. There's a mm. lot. Um, but essentially, this is a warring period of various. Um, they weren't kingdoms because nobody actually had a mon. Oh, they didn't have a monarchy. It was an emperor, but it's referred to as that because it sounds cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and so, in 184 AD, there was the Han Dynasty, which was the emperor at the time was of this uh, group, and there was a rebellion known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion which was essentially a bunch of people all categorised by the colour of their turban that believed in a um, believed in some real stupid magical bollocks that some guy was spouting and essentially just became a giant cult and tried to take over and usurp the emperor and so several forces that were either already an armed force or volunteer forces all grouped together and just kicked the piss out of them and got rid of them. While this was going on, one of those military forces decided to swoop in and take over the capital and essentially kidnap the Emperor and be like, well, you're going to do what I want now. You're my bitch. Nice. And the Emperor, <laughs> being small and spindly, was like, okay, please don't do the stabbings. And so took over. This guy was called Dong Zhuo, and he is category... Uh, he is pretty much in every form of media and on all accounts a very overweight bearded asshole that thinks with his dick and his belly and nothing else <laughs> and wasn't particularly um, brilliant in any form apart from being smart enough to sounds like my hero the emperor. I know right <laughs> But uh, the reason he was so powerful and it was such a struggle to defeat him was because he had a soldier known as Lu Bu, who is possibly the uh, was one of the greatest soldiers in the land. And this guy was built and lived for battle, 
and designed to be the greatest uh, soldier of all go. time. And people but I can't were terrified. What my of intro them. was? What was my intro? That we'd all go Lubu if we ever lost you, which I will explain uh, to you in a second. Okay. So in yep. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, which is what the Dynasty Warriors games are based off of, there's mention of a lady in court that Lubu was insanely fond of. And it never mentions the name, but the games call her Diao Chan. Mm. And um, Dong Zhuo decides, no, nah, I'm going to have her. And Lubu goes, okay, you're going to die. And mm-hmm. kills her. Uh, it kills him, sorry. And everyone's like, oh, thanks, Lubu, you killed that dictator. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'm going to go over here and be my own dictator. I'm going to steal this building from my cousin and just generally be awesome. And so because he's super powerful and everyone's pretty scared of him he even had a horse called the red hare that was supposed to be the fastest horse in the land and it had um, just red hair cool called that Um, (laughs) they were creative um, you know it works Um, so his cousin Liu Bei went to Cao Cao a leader of a lot of people they grouped together and essentially just stomped Lu Bu down and in that battle Diao Chan was killed and so Lu Bu went full crazy oh, and just started murdering everyone his friends and mm. otherwise so that was more what I was implying there you go. so without M me and Paul would go full Lu Bu crazy and just murder everyone mm. that I might was the implication <laughs> I don't, a, think, I don't a, think Paul would give a <coughs> shit but I know that I'd I give a shit I just he'd give a shit like you know he'd want to know where the body is for <laughs> gross reasons but <laughs> Necrophile. Because he's a sexual deviant. I thought you said he'd want to know where it was That's for what groceries. I'm for groceries. Yeah, eat your, yes. eat your liver and fuck yeah. your corpse. There you go, because Paul's a sexual deviant. I didn't come up anyway. with that. You did. So, that one was me, but all the others have okay. been you. Anyway, so um, from 184 AD to 220 AD is not technically the Three Kingdoms area. There's a lot of infighting and shit between various warlords in China that I won't get into because if I was to cover each and every one and each and every battle, this will be a six-hour podcast. So, at around this time, uh, Liu Bei, who was part of the volunteer force against the Yellow Turban Rebellion, got his own army, um, and his two sworn brothers... Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, later known as the God of War, and I have a golden statue nice. of him. Um, <laughs> they ha- um, they went to visit a well-known strategist and all-around smart dude a bunch of times called Zhu Ge Liang, and he said, I have the perfect strategy for you to be able to unite the land, and I've foreseen it, and I know exactly how we're going to do it. And it's going to go like this. Essentially, we need to conquer as much of this area as we can. Uh, Cao Cao and his group are going to conquer as much of that area and call it Wei. And the Suan family are going to conquer as much of that area as they can and call it Wu. And essentially, the land will be split in three between Wei, Wu and Xu. And from there, by following my strategies, you will be able to unite the kingdoms and finally rule all of China. And they're like, awesome, sounds like a fucking plan. And so (laughs) Xu, which is, like I said, Liu Bei and all his mates, team up with Wu, that's the Sun family, which was originally Sun Jan, but he was killed in a battle after he was hit with an arrow and it got infected and he died. Then his his child, Sun Se, who died of a disease. And then his son, Sun Quan, who lasted the longest, um, was the one that teamed up with Xu. They work together to essentially beat the shit out of way over and Damn. over again for the longest time. And then and you said decided... that my history section had loads of death. Well, all of history has loads of death. Yours I mean... was only about death. Yeah, exactly. It was only about death, yours. There's death in Dan's, but yours was literally only about death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and yeah. Hitler. So, death and Hitler. Woo. <laughs> It's all it gets is... M staples right there. Much as Paul staples are sex and literal and staples in the filth. vagina or whatever. There we go. See, so Paul's staples are inappropriate filth. My staples are inappropriateness and extreme depression. And Paul and M staples are death. And it's death. what we do. There we go. That's it. <laughs> We're a fucking just... axe. 
I just am, I'm just meant to be part of Danger Five. That's can we continue with Dan's? Yeah. It's my destiny. Can we continue with Dan's story? Because <laughs> I'm trying to finish it as best I can. So essentially, Wu realised whilst still being mates with Shu, they're like that Guan Yu guy's really fucking cool and super strong, and nobody's been able to beat him. With him still around, we never stand a chance of being able to rule the land. So they secretly went away and went, "Hey, you want to kill Guan Yu?" And they're like, "Oh my god, yes! That's oh, you're so cool." So they teamed up and essentially went over to Guan Yu's base and beat him. And Liu Bei goes fucking tit because that's his sworn brother and etc. So he decides that he's going to break off his alliance with Wu. Much against Xu Geliang, things like, no, seriously, like, Wei is m definitely the bigger problem. We need to keep working with Wu to take them out, then you can deal with them. He's like, no, I don't give a fuck, I'm going after Wu. <laughs> no, seriously, you're going to fuck everything up. So he goes to and um, loses and dies. And his son is the simpiest motherfucker in history. Like, just a complete <laughs> bitch. And so very quickly, he loses the war. Damn. Then uh, some people from within Wei, so within Cao Cao's group, decide, you know what, we could do a better job than this. So they essentially just in the night sneak up and kill, uh, I think his son, Cao Pi. <laughs> um, <laughs> kill him and take over. So it's no longer the Wei kingdom, it is the Jin, with a J, not a G. And then they use their superior military might to crush Wu and unite the three kingdoms. There we go. One so epic tale. Nice. That is... As abridged yeah. as I can do it, I can do so many soldiers and their stories and warlords of various. We can return. We might return to this one loser. day. Maybe me and Em. I could do some I'm actual. So and read all of the romance of the Three Kingdoms stuff. So apart I'm from so the impressed. dates, I can't, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. You Isn't just that just did, normal like, though? A big chunk of history. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the dates, that's the only thing I had to check. Everything else was from the amount of Dynasty Warriors yeah. and Romance of the Three Kingdoms, etc., that I've read. I didn't played. have to... Uh, but you do so, have oh, an insane memory. I didn't have to memory. check anything for my history. 280 AD was when uh, Jin uh, finally won. So it's 200, it was 184 AD to 280 AD is when all of that warring shit happened. Listeners, Em is literally lying sort of on her, on her arm like this. She literally looks like she's going to fall asleep. She's so soothed by what? Dan's story. It's like she's ready to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm always oh, ready yeah. to go to bed, but I think my expression is more like mind blown Aww. by all Ooh. the information Dad just gave us. It's more like I'm more like gazing. I noticed you were sort of looking down quite a lot. Were you actually taking notes? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was, I was um, drawing hearts around your names. <laughs> what the fuck? That's uh, yeah, that's <laughs> creepy. How many points have I got? I know. Well, Dan had 11. You. You'll find out in well, How many did I have? No, it's a, no oh. they're tallies. They're tallies. So that was today. So Dan's got two. My one, got one was very poor, ill-deserved, though, let's be honest. Was bullshit, yeah. So, I believe we still need yes, to do a do. sketch, and I've realised that this is going to be a uh, long okay. episode. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck it. Nobody watches it. M, it is your turn to create a sketch for us. Are you ready? Okay. You haven't got a choice. Yep. Your word for today is yeah. coincidence. Okay. Yeah. Coincidence. Oh, that's really good, though, and I'm going to ruin it. Come on, it. you can oh, do that's it. That's good. I like it. Okay, can you give it's me fine. Like, a we little bit of last buffer week time, please? Okay, it's the buffer time. We discussed can last week that we're not actually going to film time, any of them. It's what yeah, I'm doing. doing it's now. what I'm doing, so keep fucking thinking while I'm trying to buffer you. I was trying to I'm do it sorry. subtly, but I'm fuck sorry, it. We'll I'll just stop, burn I'll this thing to the ground. To just burn it down! Kill all the fucking mystery in the world! Anyway, yeah, we discussed last week that we weren't ever going to film them. So yeah, this, we did. Yeah, we're not They do still have to be doable by us. Because those are the rules. No longer because we're going to film them, just because it makes more yeah. sense that way. Because otherwise we could just be like, so Keanu Reeves comes in and it's like, oh, what a coincidence, I just saw you outside. <laughs> and then, yeah, like it still has to be yeah. doable. Some, yeah, we can't, you can't, yeah. It's, it's, it's not against the rules, it's just not very sporting, I don't think, to make it totally unbelievable. Yeah. I think it's cheating. 
It's Daniel, right? What you? Do you, Paul, what do you have for uh, breakfast I'd like to this place morning? a bet before M starts. <laughs> I, I didn't. I have been. Oh, I woke up at about yeah, half eaten, eleven, yeah, so I didn't really eat. Yeah. Um, or would you like to place a bet before this happens? I've got five pounds. Says that M is going to involve Hitler in this sketch in some way. I don't want to take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, okay to... right. I'm ready. I've like scribbled Damn, down. Unbelievable! Unbelievable. I don't. I don't like that the the fact that you give me buffer time and you well, we don't need it. buffer time. I feel like it's sort of insin. No, I know, but it's we, we don't need that, it like, because the whole... be better thought out. <laughs> The point be. is, is that you're supposed to just let your mind but you will run never. with it. So you start well, with I a silly have. word and phrase that's and just my, go. That's my mind running. Yeah, but you've, yeah, but you've buffered it. Yeah. And you've taken time to think about it and so on. You're supposed to just... The blur, point of the blur, game blur, is that you're supposed to just say it, it but because you, for some reason, want to write it down. I like, I like writing things down. It's fine, it's all right. But I have... I have it's all right, you've only slightly, you've only slightly scribble, ruined the game. It's fine. <laughs> You've only burned the fucking feature yeah. to the ground. It's fine. We're just going to dance Here in the go. ashes. The tune I use is called Festival, existence. listeners, oh, yeah. so I'll just start playing that now. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be called Coincidence. So pause, pause in the flat, sat on the sofa watching my hentai comics. Watching, not reading. That just confuses me every time. And then Dan walks in and he's like, Oh, hey, Paul, are, they, are those my trousers you're wearing? He's like, oh, no, man, I just, I just bought them last week in Tesco's when I was out doing our little weekly shop. And Dan's like, oh, it's, it's a weird coincidence that we have the same yellow plaid trousers. But he's like, fine, that's cool. Uh, and the next day, he comes into the lounge, Paul's watching my hentai comics. He's like, oh, is that, is that my uh, my furry outfit? Did, 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 did you find that in my cupboard? <laughs> And Paul's like, no, 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 I just, I really, like, I was watching this thing the other day and I just really got First into suits, furries cool. and I thought, well, Dan's... First suits. suits. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it was like, well, Dan's into it, so I thought maybe I'd like, experiment a bit and I thought, like, this one... What animal is it? He's like, mm, that's... Uh, a wolf. Obviously. They all are. They all are. And... and <laughs> And, and Dan's like, oh, that's weird. It's exactly like the one that I've got. But it was a coincidence. Uh, and then the next day, Dan comes into the lounge and he's like, Paul, is that my leg? Is that my fucking leg? You've got my leg now? You've got my limbs? Is that my hair? And it's just that Paul has just slowly turned into Dan, but he's wearing a furry suit. And that's the punchline. How does the punchline actually... Because you, you just said that, that and then that happens. But that's not a punchline. Yeah, and then Dan's, Dan's not there anymore. Dan just okay. doesn't exist. It turns out. It was just Paul say, dressed as Dan. Or I walk time. in and go, Paul, have you stolen me? It's just you sitting just there. There yeah, you go. Dan's fixed it for you. Comes yeah. back and there's no longer me <laughs> stood you. there. Yeah. Yeah, and then it, like Paul was the, there was never Paul. It's just you in the flat, and you've gone insane. Oh, I should have taken that bet. I mean, that is a good punchline. We have. It'll be furries that. next. I've done the Dan. Furries will crop up in every single sketch. I need that good though, it's good. I liked it. I like the ending. Yeah. Admittedly that was that was Dan's the ending. But I liked I liked it. It was good. <laughs> I mean every every time I do tell you that this is it's gonna be you awful plan it. and you I don't like, want no, you to plan fine. it next it's next time fine. you do it, Em. Don't write anything down. I didn't, I wrote None anything. of that. I just like wrote Don't plan anything, just go. Well, we don't want you to feel safe. It this podcast is about not, safety. It's not about safety. <laughs> we're on the fucking, le- we're on the fucking edge comedy. here. Your safety is irrelevant to comedy. We're on the fucking edge. But I get We're scared. Easy Rider. Well, that's the point. Yeah. Comedy is scary. Life is scary, Emily. You must learn. Learn to embrace the fear. The fear is what drives the funnies. <laughs> if, 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 you can, if, if you can take anything away from this podcast, listeners, it's that A, death is inevitable, and B, uh, fear is what drives the funnies. Well, I hope you enjoyed our history special, Why listeners. hope you learned something from it. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned more than just, you know... M's love of Hitler yeah. and death, and Paul's love of cock and balls. I'm not arguing with that. <laughs> and Dan's, Dan's permanent fury. Yeah, I, I have a severe rage issue. And it's mostly caused by Paul and Mario Party. So, <laughs> with that, ladies and gents, I think we'll go with a scene on out. YouTube. Fuck out. Off. Shit. Bye! <laughs> Did you seriously fuck up? God damn it.